Hugs for mommy. Heading off to surgery. On this episode, Rick and Lindsay go to the big city. <laughs> We've just gotten on the exit. So I just got called from Samsung Billing and a nice lady named Grace told me that we secured a private room, which is very good, which means I don't have to share a room with anybody. Private room! Woo -hoo! Um, and then when I check in, I have to stop and get a chest x-ray first, and then I can proceed up to the um, international desk where they will check me into the hospital. We also found out that I cannot leave once I'm admitted. So unfortunately, I can't go out for dinner with, with Glory. Um, but maybe Rick can and he can bring me something back. Who knows? We'll figure it out. All right, we're on our way. So we decided we're stopping at some rest stops along the way. We've been told rest stops in Korea are really great. Yeah, it's fun. I got little shops coming down the side here. There's a little food court and there's a couple coffee shops that way. We've decided today to get Steph hot dog. And so on the menu we have cheesy dog, French bulgogi, Viking hot dog, Steph hot dog. Cheese on bulgogi and chili dog, and we decided for doo -doo -doo -doo, cheesy dog. So we'll see how it goes. But it's a cool little place. Noah would like this one because that's Noah's favorite. Ooh, hey, that looks good. Oh, what are those? Maybe we should have come here. Ah, yeah. Well, next time I have to go there. They have some nice looking stuff over there. They do. So they literally fill up the bun with cheese. Holy yeah. So I got six napkins and three under cup. Three four. I'm a little worried about oh. the cheesy cheese. Very cheesy. It's cold. What is cold? Cheese. What about the hot dog? It's warm. But not hot. Can I have a It nods in the direction of the Oh, there's like a whole little map for the food court. So that was fun. The kids would love that on a road trip. That'll be like a big, a high point. In fact, it's huge. The, the food court keeps going on and on and on. We did not explore too much. Nice. We're checking out another rest stop. Ah. I don't see any Duncan. We're hoping to find a Duncan or something that's got something sweet. Maybe a little cafe Maybe with a. Oh, there is a Duncan. I see a Duncan sign. You want a donut? It's also an Auntie Anne's. So, cool. Asian kitsch. Loving the wooden Ooh. stuff. And actually, I like those gaudy elephants. They're cool. So here we are. COVID safe uh, rest stop seating. If we were on like a regular road trip and not having surgery, then maybe go for some adventurous Korean food. First time inside a Mark 24, ever. Huh? Ooh, Chelsung. I think I might grab a Chelsung. Are you getting water? Oh, look at this. All kinds of snacks, road trip snacks. Samida. Thank you, Sarah. And away we go. We'll park right out here. We did it. We did it. We arrived. We're here. Woo. Literally at the same time as the GPS said we would arrive. With rest stops and everything. With rest stops and everything. We made it, and we even got a prime parking spot in the parking garage, right by the footpath. Woo! Look at this. This is so pretty here. It's Lindsay. See, so pretty. But check it out. We're like right in the middle of Seoul, but it's all forest and beautifulness over here. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Just wanted to point out that dude is sleeping underneath the car park. It's cracking me up. And here we are. And just like that, we're in. <laughs> Lindsay has to go off to radiology. I'm gonna find a parking spot and chill. Lindsay had her admission chest x-ray. And we are off to the races. We're walking single file to be considerate to other patients because it's a ton of people in a small space. 
everything's going well and we're very excited. We were talking in the car on the way up here that it's cool because this whole thing has been so uneventful. Everything from getting on the train the first day we came here, paying the bills, they've all just been non-events. And it's so nice. We're here at Chicken. This is the international reception area where partners come. They all speak English. It's like a magical fairyland. So this is our room. A room with a view. Wow. Okay, so this is our hospital room. These are my lovely hospital clothes. Actually, it's nice because it's a shirt and a pair of pants, but I had to ask for a larger size because this is the one they originally gave me, which I don't think would have closed with my Western size body. Which she experienced in x-ray this morning. Yeah, x-ray, when I got here, I was like, and then this is the view from my hospital room. We did get a private room, so we're very excited to have a private room. I don't know if Rick's bed is super comfortable. We're hoping it folds out a little bit. But we did get a blanket and a pillow, which we were not expecting. And here we are. Next oh, stop. Here, oh. This is my favorite thing. So you check in at the, there's an international desk. You check in and they give you this folder. And this is my communication card because I don't speak Korean. So I can open it and for example, if they need to tell me something, they can point. Or if I'm in pain, I can say, you know, like, I need painkillers, and I can just point, or they can just explain to me what's happening, or I can say I'm too hot, which we already called because it's really hot in this room, but I thought this was brilliant. Yeah, so the doctor will be by later to start my IV and mark my hip, and surgery will be tomorrow morning. Oh, they're coming by at 5 in the morning to start my medicine, my IV. Yay! Yay! Next stop, hip surgery. <laughs> Lindsay's off to surgery. There's been a flurry of activity. It's now 1.25. They scooted the bed over to make room for her to get in it. And they've told me that she's going to have dinner at 6 and she's on her way here. Very exciting. Okay, she's back. So it went really well. I <laughs> I woke up in the OR and I said, am I supposed to be awake? And she said, oh yes, all done. <laughs> and then I went to recovery for about an hour, I think. I don't, I don't even know. It's 1.25 now, or 2.25 um, now, so four hours total. Um, and uh, I, have, I have the best recovery experience ever. Um, it, the nurse was really nice. We talked about books and she couldn't believe that I was feeling so good. And the spinal is starting to wear off. Oh, best anesthesiologist ever. Didn't even feel the spinal, um, the needle. Uh, yeah, so far so good, feeling good. They put your shirt on right? Yes, they flipped it around. It's so weird. Don't ask me why. They told her to put her shirt on backwards. So we did and it looked dumb and it felt dumb and it wore dumb. But now it's back to normal, and I have these nice little hospital pajamas, so no embarrassing gown. <laughs> Very nice. It is nice. Yeah. So oh. far, everything's been fantastic. I surprised the anesthesiologist. She couldn't believe I was thanking her. I said, oh, you're very good. She goes, really? I said, yes, very good. <laughs> <laughs> We're wondering if maybe people aren't super complimentary to the medical staff here. Or if people are just grumpy when they're in the hospital. But... I'm having a great experience. Samsung is the place to be. Yep. In Europe? Um, <laughs> okay. Pomla. Hello, me. We've learned in Korea one thing they are not is bashful about the pain medicine. There are so many different pills, and every time they move her, they give her more. <laughs> <laughs> Plus IV drugs. Plus IV, yeah, in her, in her IV as well. Okay, so it's Wednesday. I'm first day post-op. I've been up uh, walking. Um, I took off the hospital PJ top and... Breaking the law. Breaking the law. But I've been up walking a little bit. I've been able to go to the bathroom um, out of bed and I'm eating well. So life is good. All is going as expected. All is going better than expected. Definitely been the best surgery that we've ever had in our family. That's the food trolley. It's motorized and she drives around with like, it looks like about 50 meals on it. 
Just drives around from room to room, dropping them off. Pretty cool. One of uh, 50 things about this hospital that are super efficient. Why in the world I shut the camera off when she came in, but she dropped off Lindsay's meal. And then I get to pick my meal for the next day for breakfast. It's quite nice. And the meal consists of I tonight plain rice and buns. King. Chicken alley king, broccoli soup, and a salad. It's quite nice. And a plate of rice and some fruit. And these cool little jelly packs, which you squeeze this way. And they burst and come out this little top funnel area. So cool. I wonder if the butter does that. Butter does not. Pretty cool though. Chicken on the king. Very yummy. Broccoli soup. Mm, quite nice. Salad. And a Coke. Like an honest goodness brand name <laughs> Coke. Which cracks me up a bit. So here it is. Gotta show you this. This is the uh, process of putting jelly out of one of these packets. You squeeze it like this and it pops in the middle. And these perfect little spouts form. <laughs> and then as you squeeze... It's so cool because the hydraulic pressure from the back squishes the one pocket of jelly against the other. And then you get this perfect little stream. It's the best jelly thing I've ever seen in my whole life. You want more on that part? Let me put the rest on the other part down here. And there's so much jelly in here. <laughs> Just keeps Enough coming. Enough for four pieces of toast. Yeah. Little, little half pieces. Do we have a cold Coke in there? We do. Gonna show my route. Let me open it. And so we're on floor 12. And every time I go downstairs, I take the steps. That's a little warning with a camera that senses your motion as you pass by and then gives a little announcement. Something that I'm surely, I'm sure it says something about COVID, don't come here. I don't, uh, it could be the baby floor too, in which case it's just locked down for security. Who knows? Every time I come downstairs, I take the steps because I just want to move a bit. I've been sitting around for six days, or I will have been, I knew I would be sitting around for six days. And so it just made sense to move as much as I can. Normally I would also take the steps up, but in summertime, that's ill-advised. It gets hot really quickly. So I go down 12 flights of steps. Relatively certain I beat the elevator because there are 12 floors and it constantly is stopping at the different floors. So, while I'm not doing this to save time, I think it's also saving me time. Starts to get some life down here. As you approach floors 2, 1, and B1, you can hear more people. It is a weekend though. I imagine the hospital is going to be less crowded. Take a look. This will be 4, 1. Yeah, way less crowded. Holy crap. Just like that. Come down if you want. The nice to see you is open. That's where I've been getting all my snacks all day, every day. Snickers, bars, and whatnot. And there we go. Both cafes look like they're open. Cafe on the left. Cafe RTZ. This is where I've been getting my rice and meatballs and my strawberry cakes. And then there's a little cafe on the right. Farm to go, where I've been getting my bulgogi and my hot dogs. I think I'm getting a bulgogi today. And that's my little commute for meals. They don't have my, uh, they don't have my bulgogi this morning. But you can see the little packets are ready to go. They refresh these every morning. And there's fresh fruit and fresh salads every morning too. And the place is completely empty by 3, 4 o'clock. I didn't want to miss the opportunity to show you the dining area. That's the cafe where I got my food. And then the dining area is in here. And it's this huge cafeteria with lovely noodle places everywhere. 
and then you return your trays here on the way out. You can get hot and cold water. And poof, back to the hospital room. The nice to see you was nice to see. They always had what I wanted, except for when they didn't have what I wanted. And here are the main elevators. <laughs> This is a Picky Pickers hot dog. That's what it says on the box. And it comes out in a little drawer. Pretty cool. Right, right, right. But you gotta check out the bread. The bread is crazy. It's this like honey, whole grain, weedy thing with like chunks of nuts and whatever else in it. Pretty good. It tastes like a gas station hot dog, which is not a bad thing. I mean, that is a good thing. It's good. It should be noted that Lindsay can't finish her dinner because they gave her too much. Also, I would say they know what they're doing about Western food here. She ordered the Western menu instead of the Korean menu. <clears throat> Everything she's gotten, omelet, bagel sandwich, and in this case, chicken a la king, have been prepared exactly like your mom would prepare it in Ohio. It's been perfect. Mm. Look at that. Can't even finish it. And the fruit, I'm loving the fruit. That's one of those. I don't know what that is. I know. Oh no, that's like melon. It's like a melon, yeah. Like those Korean yeah. melons. Today is Friday, which is Wednesday, Thursday. It's the third day after surgery. Big day. How's the hip pain? Uh, pain is manageable. Looking forward to my morning round of meds so I can go for my long, big walk. Um, doctor said I get an x-ray today, and then I can be discharged tomorrow if everything looks okay. Yay! 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 All is well. It's Friday lunchtime, and then oh they got, God. and I'm not kidding you. A filet mignon. A filet mignon. <laughs> Pretty awesome. And then I went down and got some more of my favorite dish that I discovered down there. It's some kind of ground pork. They call it pork bulgogi, but I thought bulgogi was only beef. So we'll see. So this is my area. This is where I've been camped out for the last... So we're into the fifth day, and we leave tomorrow at 11. This couch folds down into a mostly rock hard bed with hinges down the middle. Not a big problem. And then uh, got my little shelf area. So it couldn't be better. It's Lindsay's last night, Friday night. And my she last had, supper. And she has gotten. I got this beef pilaf, which is delicious with pumpkin soup. There's a guy upstairs who's complained about every meal that he's gotten. I think he's crazy. One of the doctors told us we're that our room is their place of healing because we're so friendly <laughs> and this is our last view out for a sunset in seoul looks very pretty you can't see any of the mountains in the distance because the smog is so bad oh there's one mountain over there you can see but there are mountains all around us the smog is pretty rough today and has been all week i can't remember if i showed you the dessert i got yesterday it's a Strawberry chocolate cake roll, and it's delicious. I just went on another lap, which was my third one for today. It takes me a few minutes to stretch it out, but uh, feeling good, feeling good. Now it's time to ice and bed down for the night. And then tomorrow, we go home. Tomorrow we go home. Woo! X-ray came back clear. All is well. Our last morning in Seoul. Lindsay's gotten her breakfast this morning. Ooh, lovely. With a huge bagel. 
She's had, I think, the same exact breakfast every day, except sometimes you've gotten an omelet sometimes instead of scrambled. Sometimes I get an omelet. Sometimes I, I have not. I've gotten a different side every time. So this is the. Uh, this is tea. It should be tea water. Coffee cup that makes sure we know what direction north is every morning. I love that they just use camping cups. It's brilliant. We should have those at home. Maybe that's a uh, goals for 2021. It's time to go. I'm gonna take our bits to the car and come back and get Lindsay whenever they're ready. So off we go. So this is basically the best hospital experience I've ever had. Rick is going to get the car. Parking was fun. We got free parking the day of admission, the day of surgery, and the day of discharge, but had to pay for the couple days in between. But he worked all that out with the international desk and we should be good to go. He brought my walker in the car, so he'll bring that over when I go to get in the car. And I'm just waiting now to leave. This was amazing. Samsung Hospital is awesome. I highly recommend it to any foreigner who is coming for surgery. You will get world-class care and be totally taken care of. My chariot awaits. Do you want me to help or you just want to use, I'll steady the door, you use the door. I need help with my leg. Okay. Putting the thing away. And just like that, poof. We're done. Thank you to Korea. Thank you to our doctor. Thank you to our nurses and other helpers. Thank you to Samsung Medical Center. Thank you to everyone who prayed for, for Lindsay's well-being. Thank you to Gail for loaning us her car. Thank you to Glory for taking me out to dinner and getting Lindsay cars. It's just done. We're out of here. Bye. Have fun. We're on the road again. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out our other videos on YouTube. Down there is where uh, First Sergeant White chooses not to evacuate that African diplomat during Katrina. Have you seen out the window there? Mm -hmm. There's tennis courts. Or Gray and uh, Sloan are down there screaming at each other about some sexual indiscretion. Our last morning in Seoul. That was awesome. <laughs> That's why I didn't put the flowers up there in the first place. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. I'm very yeah. dramatic. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Our last morning in Seoul. Okay. Well, yeah, that's really. <laughs> You're a little too happy. I don't know. I'm trying to stay positive, you know. Count backwards. Like you got like 97 days in or something. <laughs> Driving along. Uh, we're still in Seoul. We're like a block from the hospital. Wow, well, I don't know, maybe a mile. And the phone goes. Fatal accident prone area ahead. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's awfully specific. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. It's a big week. We got a new hip and a new car. Are you filming? Should I not put that in? Yes, I need to Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos on YouTube. <laughs> Smash that like button. <laughs> what is it? YouTube stuff. Oh yeah. Smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> YouTube stuff. <laughs> I love that. I love my feel that he's like subscribe if you want or don't. I, I yeah. Whatever. All right. Funny. Yeah.